Okay. Ah, I'm live on Facebook, going live on YouTube right now, I believe, and about to push the button for Instagram. Okay. When you are on, say hi, let me know that you can hear me and see me. Um, I am so excited! Oh my god, this is going to be so epic. Um, so much to tell you. I mean, we might be talking for hours. I mean, we could. I probably won't. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, Instagram or YouTube. <laughs> Let's do this. Um, YouTube's just giving me this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to start. <laughs> um, so we'll see. We'll see if that works. Okay, who's on? Say hi. Let me know that you're here. And, okay, so, um, who has been told that finding the right person is one of the most important things, if not the most important thing? Who's been told that, right? Type in, type in Mr. Right or Mrs. Right. <laughs> If you've been told that, um, I want to break this down um, because, uh, Miriam, are you here? Uh, hi, Cindy. Cindy's on. I want to break this down because while it is so, so, so important, um, if we are doing this, we're trying to find. Hey, I don't actually know your first name on Instagram. What's your first name? Um, if we are trying to put all the effort on finding Mr. or Mrs. Wright, then what we're doing is we're taking the power outside of us, right? And when we take the power outside of us, then... Um, Oh, someone's looking. Uh, let's see. Someone's looking. Someone's like, where, where are you? Um, we're taking the power outside of us. And what I want to tell you is that you have the power to change everything in your life. And it starts with... Okay, Amy, Amy's here! Yay! Cindy's here! Who else is here? Let me know. Cassia? Cassie? Cassie? I don't know. Um, when you take the power outside of you, gosh, that turns you into a victim. That makes things so hard for you. And it's discouraging. It's so many, so many things. And um, you really have the power to change everything in your life. I literally have healed myself instantly. I have manifested my soulmate instantly. I have. Come on, come on, YouTube. Let's let's get this together. I have. <sighs> healed myself, manifested my soulmate, manifested money in my business, all of these things. Oh, well, I guess we're done with YouTube. Oh, wait. Here we go. Okay. YouTube's about to go live. I have literally done all of these things because I had this idea when I was in chronic pain. I literally, for the last year, was in bed trying to work through this pain, trying to figure out how to heal myself. I had this idea that you can heal yourself, right? And I had this idea, and I just couldn't get rid of this idea. And I was like, that is so encouraging, but also so frustrating because how do I heal myself? I knew that it was emotional pain. No. No. Kitty wants food. I knew that it was emotional pain, emotional trauma, and we're going to get all into all of that. Uh, okay, Leona, I'm listening, but won't be able to respond. That's okay. Um, yeah, you guys know I ask you for a lot on these lives. I ask for feedback. So 
Um, whenever you can, definitely uh, say hi. Let me know that you're here. Let me know where are you listening from. Like what state, country? Come on, Basil. <laughs> where are you listening from? Um, you have the power to change your reality. And when I was, Phil is here, hi Phil, Cindy, I'm getting a lot of health problems, come. oh my god, okay, yeah, listening from England, yeah. I have so much to say about health problems, I'm talking about any kind of health problems, like you need to be here. Um, midnight in England. Yep. Yep. Okay. You have the power to change everything. And everything starts with healing, right? So I was sitting there with chronic pain, knowing that I could heal myself, knowing that I had the power to heal myself, but not really knowing how to get on the other side of that. Hot Springs, Arizona. Annette! Annette is on Facebook. I'm finally on YouTube um, streaming, Annette, because she, she was asking about that. I keep hearing about the, our power inside, but how do we tap into it? That's the problem. We've never been taught uh, listening from car PNW. I don't know what PNW means. I'm in New Hampshire, Cindy, nice. I used to live in uh, Massachusetts for a really long time. How do we get on the other side of that? How do we get on the other side of healing ourselves, manifesting money in our business, manifesting our soulmate, right? That is the question. That is literally everything that I teach, all of those things. Of course, we're talking more about soulmate stuff right now, but all of those are interconnected. And once you know how to flip that switch in one area of your life, it branches out to all areas. If you have a good teacher, if you have a really good teacher, right? So I was thinking, how do I get on the other side of healing myself? How do I do this thing? And I sat with that for nine months, going to doctors, they couldn't figure it out, going to PT, couldn't figure it out, going stretching, icing, heating, all of these things, and going back and realizing that I had a couple of things that I needed to heal from. One big thing was my ex-husband cheating on me, right? Before we were married, he cheated on me. I had to heal from that. Right? And if you guys, this is part of this course that I'm doing right now, this, this five day challenge. If you guys sign up for a 15 minute call with me, I'm going to gift you uh, my healing video that goes into depth of how to heal yourself for money blocks, for intimacy blocks, uh, for actual pain in your body. This video is so super powerful. I know so many people that listen to it every single day. So DM me for a call. Make sure you schedule that with me. And then uh, I will give you that video um, on the call, right? So I went back and I healed myself from that, from him cheating on me. Even though I was no longer mad, even though I thought I forgave and forgot, you know, even though I felt fine, I still went back and healed from that, right? And there's so many things in your life that you think are not a big deal because it wasn't as bad as so-and-so. It wasn't that bad. So-and-so had it worse, right? How many of you have events in your life that you think you, you weren't that big of a deal, but you know that they were trauma. Type in trauma down below, except for Leona, because <laughs> she's driving, right? How many of you know that you aren't getting what you want because of trauma, right? 
And it's all about this feeling that you have. If you think of being intimate with someone, if you think of manifesting your soulmate, what is that feeling that comes up for you? Trauma. Brenda, yes. That feeling, I know for a lot of you, you just got out of a relationship and you're like, hell no. I do not want in a relationship. <laughs> Right? But you're here because you know this is so much more than, you know, manifesting the one or manifesting your soulmate. This is about you healing and becoming the person that manifests their soulmate. Right? Trauma, trauma, trauma. Yes. And you know that your trauma was not as bad as so and so's trauma. You also know that you are super strong and that you've processed that the best way you know how. And you've moved on. But now, you can't manifest money. You can't manifest your soulmate. You can't manifest healing in your body. And I know I've worked with some of you to actually heal some of the things in your body. I'm so done with being the victim. I'm pushing back now. Now... You have to watch that, Cindy, right? Because when we come from pain and trauma, we, and I, and I post this in my Instagram reels, in my TikTok, I'm now on TikTok, but I don't do that stupid shit where I'm pointing at stuff <laughs> that doesn't exist, right? Um, I talk about this. When we come from trauma and we think that is never going to happen to me again, then we push back and we set up a barrier where we won't let anyone hurt us, right? So what I did was I set up that bar barrier and I decided I was going to pick safe men. I was not going to be a victim anymore. I was not going to be walked all over anymore, right? They were going to fucking respect me. Do you guys feel... The anger? Do you feel that pain in that sit in that thought? In that little phrase. Right? That means that even though, because I know so many women are like, I'm a strong independent woman, I don't need a man. <laughs> that screams trauma. That screams trauma, that screams pain. That screams, I need healing. And that is okay. It doesn't matter if that's where you are right now. That's why you're here. Right? You, when you are healed, you don't have to watch your back. You don't have to push back. You don't have to work at picking safe partners. You don't have to work at picking the right one. You know that you are going to attract exactly what you are and what you want. Right? Yes, I do. Yeah. You start to change everything. And for those of you who are in a relationship right now, I guarantee you, you can turn that relationship around. Right? If that person is your soulmate. If that person is your soulmate. I've seen it happen. Right? But if we picked that person from an unhealed place, then what we do is when we heal, that person starts to veer off and we start to repel that person. When we heal, when we come from love, we start to repel what no longer aligns, right? So you don't have to, like in my marriage, I looked over my shoulder the whole 12 years we were together. After he cheated on me in the first year and I watched over my shoulder the whole time, right? That is not love. If you don't want to be looking over your shoulder, send me some hearts. Send me some hearts because I know that you have lived your life 
this way. And I know that you have um, been in your relationship this way, where you've been looking over your shoulder, waiting for the other shoe to drop, right? You don't want that. And you don't want another strategy. You don't want to know how do you text back, how do you date, how do you... No. Once you become this person that manifests their soulmate, come, once you become this healed version of you, then you don't have to worry about the strategy. You don't have to worry about, am I doing this right? Am I going to drive this person off? Because you're coming from love. Right? There's so much that I'm like I haven't even got to my notes yet. <laughs> okay, so... Finding the right person is the wrong thing to do. Cindy, I love those. Oh, I love you. I love you. I'm so glad you're here. Finding the right person is the wrong thing to do. Focus on becoming the right person. Focus on becoming healed. Right? I'm not a self-love coach, but I'm a have-it-all coach. Oh, I'm a have-it-all coach because you can have self-love, and still, like, a lot of, still not have all the things. I think that to truly love yourself, you must follow your calling. You must be making money in your business, like a lot of money. I believe that you must be with your soulmate because your soul desires to be with your soulmate. Right? I believe that you must have a body that you love and you feel comfortable in. Right? Who's with me? Type in all if you want all the things. Because this is the journey that I take people on. This is the transformation that I take people on. Because all of these things are together. Right? They're all intertwined. <clears throat> so... When I finally went back and healed my emotional trauma from when my ex cheated on me and also from when my dad left my mom after 24 years, I finally went back and healed that. And some of you who have signed up for my newsletter, <laughs> hi Steve, good to see you. One of you, some of you that have signed up for my emails probably got an email about me healing from my you know, my past trauma. Um, and once I healed from that, it was a, kind of a lot longer that I was, was finally realizing that I could heal myself and finally actually did heal myself. And the day that I decided, I remember all, 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 yes, I remember having that flip inside me, like, okay, this is no longer a problem for, for me. But we hang on to our problems because they serve us. Because we're benefiting in some way. This is why I really don't like to complain about my problems, because if you're complaining about your problems, no, I mean, like, obviously, people, Bill, hi, 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 yes. Obviously, like, you have to tell your problem and, like, get coaching and support or therapy or whatever you need, right? Um, but I don't like complaining about my problems because then I'm benefiting. Because I'm getting attention for a problem, right? And when I'm getting attention to hold this problem... This was not even in the curriculum. You guys are getting bonus material. When I'm getting the attention for this problem, I keep the problem. Because attention is love. Right? Attention is love. Um, okay. So, then, after I healed myself from healing my trauma... Oh, oh my God, I'm so happy. Um, a tow truck is out there clearing my parking spot. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Anyway, <laughs> calling for two days to get them to move that car. Okay, so bonus for me. Um, so after I healed myself, I was sitting there thinking, okay, how do I manifest my soulmate? How do I manifest this guy who I know loves me? So a specific person. Okay, we were friends for three years before that, but a specific person. How do I manifest this person? And I thought about it, and I had been coming from pain. I had been coming from my masculine energy. And I want to clarify this, right? Because everyone has masculine and feminine energy, right? But the masculine energy is all about strategy, right? All about strategy. Okay, what do I need to do to get this result? Like, who's a strategy person? Send some hearts. Because I know that you guys are all strategy people because, like, you follow me. <laughs> but I also know that your strategy is not working for you. Your strategy isn't working for you because you're not getting, you're not going to get love using a strategy, right? You're not going to get love using a strategy. And the same with money. You have to use heart. You have to be aligned, right? Um, so... Is this making sense? Let me know in the, in the comments if this is making sense for you. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, <laughs> they're taking the car away. So I've been waiting for two days for my parking spot back. <laughs> I'm like, why are you here? Um, there's literally no parking in my uh, apartment complex and so I'm like, uh, I kind of need this. Okay, Bill. Awesome. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So I was co coming from masculine energy, right? Trying to control things. Guys on here, let me ask you, who likes a controlling woman? <laughs> right? Who likes a nagging woman? <laughs> right? No, you don't like that. And you know what, women? You don't like to be controlling or nagging. You don't like to have to be there, right? So this gets you out of all of that. When you come from love, you start to attract what you want, Bill. <laughs> no. <laughs> right? You start to attract what you want. You don't have to demand it anymore. Right? You start to attract love. But we are so much in fear that, that we have to control things. We have to come from this control mindset, from this masculine mindset. And masculine energy is amazing. We've gotten so far using masculine energy. But we need a balance. And if we are going to create a new life, women, you guys know, you are creators, right? We make children. Not me. Definitely not me. <laughs> uh, I'm off that boat. But, you know, we create life. So we have to use our feminine energy to create a new life for ourselves, right? And men, you have to use your feminine energy. I'm not saying be feminine. Please be masculine. But come from love. That's what I'm saying. Come from love. And the only way to come from love is to be healed. Right? The only way to come from love is to be healed. And that takes time. It does take time. You can't just say, okay, I remember, you know, I needed to heal from my, the, my ex cheating on me and, and my parents splitting up. It took me 20 years 
to know exactly how to flip that switch, how to truly heal, how to truly forgive, not only them, but myself, right? We can, on the surface, forgive. And that's what I did for a long time. I was like, okay, I need to forgive because I'm apparently going to marry this guy, which is, was a bad decision, but, uh, you know, that's what you do when you're 24, right? You can do that on your surface, on the surface. But here's the thing. You're going to have anxiety in your relationships. You're not going to be able to sleep. You're going to start to have panic attacks. You're going to start to sabotage your relationship. I know none of you have sabotaged your relationship, right? <laughs> I'm speaking to everyone here. I am the queen of sabotaging my relationship. Why? Because intimacy is scary. Trusting someone is scary, right? So to be able to manifest your soulmate, you have to come from your heart. You can't use strategy. That's why you can't get on the right date dating site and say the right thing in your profile and do this thing that is that you don't want to do, right? I'm there now. Yeah, you're sabotaging, <laughs> right? And there's reasons, and that's okay. It's okay wherever you are right now. There's no judgment. I've been through all of it. Trust me. I've been through all the dirt, <laughs> all the bad places. That's why I can help every single one of you because I know what it's like to sabotage. I know what it's like to be unhealed and have to work through stuff. I know what that's like, right? I'm 45. I didn't manifest my soul man until 42. You know, it took me a long time getting things wrong. Um, so, here's the thing. When I was in pain, right, when I had that four years of chronic pain, physical pain, physical pain in your body is manifested from unhealed emotions, right? Right? So what happens is in your 20s when you're resilient and you're like, oh, I can jump off a building and still live and all these things, <laughs> you crazy shit in your 20s, right? Uh, you think nothing's going to hurt you, right? Except those things store up in your body. And so what I did was I was mad at my dad for six years, like so mad that I didn't talk to him for six years. And I ran every day. I punished myself. I married at 50. Okay. Yeah. Is that your first marriage? Probably because of a fear. Maybe. Uh, I ran every day for, for you know, uh, one year specifically. I ran every day. And then my feet started, my foot started to hurt. And I kept running and running. And I was running 8 to 10 miles a day. And I ran in anger. And that showed up over 10 years later in my body. Right? Yeah. So until you get rid of your fear, until you truly learn to trust, it's going to be really hard for you to attract your soulmate. Right? It's going to be very hard for you to attract your soulmate because the whole time you're going to tell yourself that you want intimacy. You want your soulmate. You want to be married, right? And the whole time you're going to be doing this. You're going to be blocking that. You're going to be like, okay, let's, let's see how this goes. Let's go on a date. This is why a lot of people ghost. Not because... There are rude, insensitive people. I believe that all people have good intentions, but I believe that they ghost because they don't, they are coming from an unhealed, untrusting place, right? 
Um, so pain, physical pain is a manifestation of your emotional trauma. So if you have pain in your body, type in a one in the comments if you have some kind of pain in your body, whether it's like a back, your back hurts, your shoulders hurt, uh, you get headaches, it could be even worse at this point. Type in a one in the comments. I'm just curious. How many of you have physical pain in your body? Right? I'm going to wait till to get married until I'm 85. I won't really care about prenup by then. Okay. Okay, Bill. Okay. You, you keep doing the work and we'll see what happens. One, you have physical pain. Okay? Yeah. I feel like there's a lot more ones that need to come up. Um, so that, the other thing about physical pain is it can be anxiety, depression, fatigue, hormone issues. It can be something that not, not being able to sleep at night, not being able to wake up at, in the morning. That's also physical pain. That is your body. That is your soul telling you. Something's wrong. And no, it's not that you need a better job. It's not that you need more balance. It's not that you need any of the crap that you're telling yourself. It's that you need healing. Deep healing. One, one, one. Well, it's a lot of ones. Yep. Yeah. It's that you need deep healing. You need healing and you need to feed your soul. Right? It, it's two things. Because your soul wants so much. Your soul wants your soul mate, obviously. Your soul wants uh, you to follow it, the, its calling. Like if you have a calling in your life. If I have physical pain, wake up with headaches, and now I have GERD. Ugh, yeah. That is your body. That is your soul telling you, hey, we have a problem. You have to listen to me. Right? If you start to listen to your soul and start following that, that pain will go away. I had a lady who had MS, worked with her, and her MS has been in res remission, I think, like two years now. It went away. Right? I don't know much about MS. I don't know, like, if it ever actually goes away, but she that's what she told me, right? So your physical pain is a sign that, hey, you need to take care of this. You need to listen to your soul. You need to go on this journey. That's why nothing has worked for you before, because it wasn't supposed to work. You're supposed to be here now. You're supposed to find food for your soul. Your soul, yes, 100% wants healing, but your soul wants your soulmate. Your soul wants you to have money and to be wealthy, whatever that means to you, right? Your soul wants you to be healed fully. So your soul is sending up these messages. You didn't listen when you had sleep problems and a little bit of anxiety. And now your soul is sending pain in your body like, hey, it's getting worse. You got to listen. You got to listen. Right? And I believe that you, like, you're, like if you want something, your soul is sending you all these messages as to why you are not getting what you want. So if you're manifesting things that you don't want, it's because your soul is telling you why you are not getting what you want. Right? You just don't know how to read the messages. Right? There's so many people that do card reading and astrology and the moon and retrograde. Like, no. You got to listen to your soul. I don't do any of that shit. I don't. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. But here's what I do know. Your soul wants a relationship with you. Your soul wants to give you everything that you desire. 
and you following your soul and listening to your soul, that is the first relationship that needs to happen. Right? But I truly believe that you can manifest your soulmate today. Right? Maybe you know somebody. If you don't know somebody, I mean, you know, maybe at the end of the week. <laughs> um, but I truly believe that you can manifest your soulmate before you are healed. Okay? And I truly believe that you will manifest your soulmate before you are completely healed. Because this is what I do know. Your healing journey is ongoing. You will always be working on your healing. I did a lot of healing after I manifested Marco. A lot. Because manifesting Marco and having him in my life brought up a lot of triggers and a lot of fears. And I was like, oh, shit. I got to do this? Okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> you know? And you start to recognize these things. You know, it's just like learning anything, like learning swimming, learning, like I learned swimming when I was like 39. I learned how to swim. I learned, I went to a lot of classes. I learned drumming, swimming, guitar, <laughs> right? I learned all these things really late in life, right? Um, but when you learn how to do something, it takes time and practice, right? And this relationship with yourself, this relationship with your soul takes time and practice. So all this pain is your body, is your soul saying, hey, this is how to get what you want. Who knows 100% that you are supposed to be with your soulmate? Put in 100. Put 100 down in the comments. And who knows 100% that you are supposed to be wealthy? Put in 200 <laughs> in the comments. And who knows 100% that you are supposed to be healed? Put in 300 in the comments. <laughs> I'm asking a lot. I'm asking a lot. But you know that this is supposed to happen this is supposed to be happening for you right 100 you know that you're supposed to get these things you see it in your mind because and that's why you're here 100 300 200 yeah i love you guys yes yes we have a lot of guys on this one i like it i like it you see yourself here, and you're wondering why you're here. Like, all of these things come together, and they're telling you what, you, what needs to happen. But I guarantee you've never heard what I'm telling you before. Right? All of these things work together. So, I was... Trying to figure out why I wasn't manifesting this guy. And I was just like in my masculine, doing all these things and hanging out and being available and being nice and um, probably over giving. Um, and then I realized that I manifested healing in my body, which I didn't believe in manifesting before I manifested healing in my body. And then I was like, well, if I manifested that, then I can manifest Marco. And I was like, okay, well, what am I getting? I'm getting all these guys that I wouldn't go on a second date with, which, okay, well, how do I interpret that? And then it just hit me that I didn't believe in marriage because I didn't trust. And I was like, okay. I do, I do trust. I do trust him, right? I do trust myself now. I've learned a lot. Been through a lot of healing. And I went to love. I went to my heart. And I felt this feeling of pure love. And I meditated for four days. 
And I want to tell you, I'm not really big meditator. Right? I'm not big into it. I do it some. Even now, I'm not huge into it. Um, I do like to do about 20 minutes a day. Um, but I'm not big into it. Right? Um, but I meditated for four days. And I was just in total bliss living in this world that I created with, where I pictured him proposing, us getting married over and over again. And I was like, I'm just going to stay here. Um, but manifestation is about feeling that feeling. And when you think of intimacy, when you think of making a commitment, when you think of marriage... I guarantee you that that feeling that you have is not serving you. I can only do guided meditation. I can't meditate on my own. You you probably could in this way if you just take it and uh, tweak it on uh, to work for you the way I did it. Um, you just, yeah, I'll just, we'll talk later. <laughs> um, so... Wait, hang on. It's about this feeling. This feeling that you get when you think about, when you truly think about a million dollars or when you truly think about making that commitment of marriage or intimacy, right? For a time last year, I went through an extreme stress and paid a meditator to come at, to my home and it worked well. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. You never told me. Um, so today I went to the bank, well, not the bank, because banks don't really exist anymore. I went to the ATM and I had $3,000 in cash, um, that I had to deposit in ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, hundred dollars. I had, I had a stack like this. And I have my purse, and I'm like this in in the in Target, and I'm like shaking with this money. I know that three thousand dollars isn't a lot, but it is, but it's not. But I, you know, we've been told over and over again: be careful and watch your back, and you're a woman, and blah, blah, blah. like we've been drilled into us all this fear. And that feeling that I felt holding that money, I realized that that energy is non-manifestation non energy. And I realized that there was more work that I needed to do around money. So when you feel anxiety, when you feel anger, when you feel resentment, all of those feelings are non-manifestation energy is what I like to call it. <laughs> right? Those are anti-manifestation energies. Right? So when we're feeling those feelings, you're going to start getting things that you don't want to manifest. Right? You're going against your soul. You're going against what you really want. It starts to repel what you want. Is this making sense? Um, okay. So, I just wanted to go over, I hope this is okay, but I wanted to go over some of the homeworks that you guys submitted. Um, because, since you guys are all here, <laughs> right? So... Uh, day one homework. Uh, my significant money. Okay. Rita! Where have you been? You've been so quiet. Um, my significant money and happiness block is a belief that struggle is necessary. Intellectually, I know it's garbage, but it's hard to shake what I think is a deep subconscious belief. That is all about healing. I need to work less. I need to see more of my friends and family. Here's the thing. If you are saying 
that I need to do this and I need to do that. And you're having to force yourself to do that. That means something is not in alignment. Right? You're doing surface level planning. This is masculine energy. This is okay. I need to just get a better schedule. I need to sit, buckle down and do it. I need to get to bed earlier. I need to get off caffeine. Like all of that, none of that is a problem. Okay? If you have these surface level things, like I need to do this. If you, if it was that easy, you would have done it. You know what I mean? Is this making sense? Right? Just wanted to say a few comments. Um, problem, hanging on to people who do not, who is this? Oh, let's see. Are you on? Uh, hanging on to people who do not serve me because I want to be liked, likable as nice people don't tell people to choose a uh, fear of being seen. Okay, so all of that is healing. Solution, remain giving and loving, but perceive it when it does not serve me or is at the cost of my desires and wants. Um, accept and love myself. Yeah, okay. Um, you, everyone's going to have, like, you have, everyone has a desire to be liked, Right? Um, but I have let go of a lot of people in my life because we were not in alignment, right? And I, and I, I took a long time to let those people go because I was like, well, this is my only friend or that is, you know, like I only have this one person. Um, and we hang on to these people Right? Because we we need to be liked. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah. But all of that is about healing. And something happened in your past. And literally this is for everybody. Something happened in your past that keeps you from wanting to be seen. And keeps you hanging on to these relationships that don't serve you. Um, let's see. Um, I want people to heal. I want, oh, I'm sorry. I want to heal my marriage. I put him first, first, and all my life, and I put everyone else's need before my own. Uh, this is a huge self love. Yeah, I mean, this, all of this, like, everyone has everything that you're mentioning, all, all three of the homeworks that I've read. Everyone has these same issues, right? We've all had to work through this. Um, working on myself. It, so, the solution is going after the things that you want, right? So, the solution for me was going after my soulmate, going after my healing, going after um, money in my business, growing my business, doing the work. When you do the work to get what your soul wants, like your soul has a desire to go to, go on vacation, right? Go on this journey. If if you know if you get the analogy, right? Your soul has a desire to go on this journey, and your soul is like, hey, you should you should work on a business. And you're, which is so hard, by the way. Uh, you should work on a business. Hey, you should go find your soulmate, right? That's your journey that your soul is leading you on. And on that journey is the journey of growth. That's where you learn self-love, right? That's how I learn self-love is going after my my body goals, my healing, my, my soulmate, my money. Like, that's how I healed by going after these things. When you say something happened in our past, does that mean between <laughs> between the ages? It's all, you know, yes, but no. I mean, like, all through your entire life, things have been happening, right? 
even last year things have happened right but the thing of it is is it may have started between the ages of seven or whatever but your whole life has been the same patterns over and over again right and it's not about picking like my two things were definitely in my 20s my two big things that I get hit to heal from so no it doesn't have to be from those ages okay right yeah now I have a degree in family science too so I know what you mean um, but no, I, I talk about realistic things and how they actually apply to you, not just, you know, stuff that you see online. Like, I've lived every single thing. I have literally gone, for, like, at one point in my life, I was homeless, and now I have um, building my seven-figure business. Uh, one point in my life, I was in bed with chronic pain, and now I'm healed, and at one point in my life, I was manifesting all these men who would neglect me, and now I'm with my soulmate. And so it's like, it's about living that life and going after what you truly want. Your soul is like, hey, you need to go on this journey and get what you want, because in that journey, that's where we're going to heal. You're not going to heal sitting on your couch waiting for Mr. Right to find you. Or Mrs. Right. Or Miss Right. <laughs> I think that makes sense. Stop driving. Is Pacific Northwest. I'm in Washington. Washington. Damn, that sounds nice. Sounds nice. Okay. Okay, did I comment on that? Okay. There must be a reason I was invited into this group at this time, in this moment. There are no coincidences I can. So I commit to do all the work keep my heart open I love it I love it okay this is a lot of homework here oh there's a lot <laughs> okay I forgot how many homeworks I went through okay I've done three or four programs gone all in haven't gotten results okay yeah um here's the thing if you've done this before, if you've done the work before and you have not gotten results, it does not mean you have not gotten results. Okay? It means that was a part of your journey. That was a part of you, that was a part of your journey. Right? When I married my ex-husband and spent 12 years with him that does not mean that was that was a waste that means I did it didn't mean that I didn't get results it means that was a part of my journey so I want you to be open to this being a part of your journey this will not be the be all end all this will not solve all your pro problems this is a step in the journey and I hope that it's a it's a it's a great step for you. But don't think that you can do four days of meditation after this and then that person shows up, right? This is a part of your journey and it takes work, but I know exactly what needs to happen for you. And I'm giving you as much as I can in a group setting. But I know what needs to happen so that you can flip that switch, so that you can start loving yourself, so you can heal, so you can attract your soulmate, right? Um, and it doesn't have to be in that order. You 100% can be a millionaire with money blocks. I want you guys to let that sink in, which means you can 100% manifest your soulmate with intimacy blocks, Right? Um, I have been sabotaging my efforts to find a partner who will respect me, love me, and join me in a healthy, passionate, filling, adventurous relationship. This is because I'm afraid and I'm ultimately... Um, so right here is exactly what I was talking about at the beginning of this. It's not about you finding the right person. 
right? It's never about you finding the right person. It's about you becoming the right person and then you attract the right person. Like you're doing way too much work, right? Have you, who here has ever tried to change somebody, right? Any mothers in here tried to change your kid? Keep them from like, I don't know, make them eat their vegetables, <laughs> whatever, right? Who has ever tried to change somebody? Who has ever had someone that tried to change them, right? You can't. You have to change, and that will attract your soulmate. You don't have to. Once you, and I don't mean you have to change who you are. Definitely not. You have to become who you were, who you were always meant to be. The healed, loving, trusting version of you. When you do that, you don't have to worry. Because the people who are deceptive or whatever you want to put in there, they're going to be repelled by your light. Right? I actually had someone once recently say that I was, I know that now, say that I was a little too much. I was like, really? I've never actually heard that before. <laughs> But thank you. Uh, solution, I will remind myself I am the only one with this fear. You're not. I have the power to let it go. You do. But it's not just the decision. You're holding on to this for a reason. Right? It's not like, Mama 4, yay! More power to you. Do it. I could never do that. <laughs> um, there's a reason you're hanging. So don't beat yourself up for having, being wherever you are. Don't beat yourself up for not, you know, you know, getting in this bad last relationship. Don't beat yourself up for any of that because that is one, that is part of your journey, right? I would not be a coach. I would definitely not be teaching you guys if I had not gotten in that marriage, right? Um, so it's part of your journey. Uh, uh, yeah, you are capable, definitely. Okay, I think I've gone to, okay, there we go. Um, all right, so, I'm so excited. This has been great. Um, I just, okay, that's it. That's it for today. Um, I did not expect this to go that long. I hope that's okay with everybody. Um, but I will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time you know, for day three, and I cannot wait to see your homework. You'll get an email in a little bit with the link to the new homework, which is just the same as the link yesterday, except for number two. <laughs> uh, super obvious. Um, and the replay, and I will see you guys on tomorrow night on the next Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube live. Love you guys.